Hey, good afternoon, good morning. So floaters are these objects that drift and float around in your vision, and they can be super annoying, but they can also sometimes be a sign that you're about to lose your vision. So today I'm going to share with you seven things about floaters that no one has told you before. All right, so floaters are these strands or cobwebs or little strings or particles that drift around as you move your eye around and they slosh around and they can be almost impossible for you to focus on them. Now, they're a lot easier to see against that bright uniform background like a sky or a computer screen or a white book. And many people will have floaters and almost everyone can be trained to see their floaters, but beware, once you see your floaters, it's very hard to ignore them again. So floaters are any particle that's kind of suspended in the vitreous humor, which is the gel-like portion that fills up the internal portion of your eye. And we often say it's a gel, but it's more of the consistency of an uncooked egg white. So the vitreous humor is 99% water, and the rest is composed of collagen fibers, mucopolysaccharides, and hyaluronic acid. There are no blood vessels, and there are no nerves in the vitreous humor. So when you see floaters, you're actually not seeing the floater itself, but you're seeing a shadow of the floater. And so any particle that's not completely transparent that's in the vitreous will cast a shadow on their retina and that shadow is what you will perceive as the floater. So normal aging will cause this, the liquefaction of the vitreous gel and that's a process called cineresis. And so the floaters will look differently depending on what type of opacity is causing them. So if you have a fluid filled pocket in the vitreous, it will cause more of a translucent floater, which will more look like a chain or a blob or an amoeba shape. If you get collagen fibers that kind of denature and clump together, then you'll probably get a dark gray floater that's going to more look like a strand or a fiber or more like a cobweb. So you can get a particular type of floater that's kind of this round shaped floater and that's called a vice ring and that was actually where the vitreous was attached around the optic nerve. And that's a sign of something called a PVD or a posterior vitreous stature, which I'll talk about a little bit later. If your floaters are very small and dark and there's lots of them, that could be a sign that there's pigment cells in the vitreous or blood cells in the vitreous or inflammatory cells in the vitreous. And if you have parts of the retina that are floating around in the vitreous, that can look like sometimes like a curtain or a veil or a shadow or something kind of flapping even in your vision. And that can be a sign that the part of the retina is causing the shadow. So general rule of thumb, the closer the particle is to the back of the retina, the darker and the larger the floater will be. Now you can't get floaters from particles that get into your eye like dust or sand or even chemicals because basically your eyeball is a sealed environment. Now the only exception to that is if you have a penetrating injury from a sharp object that's coming at a high rate of speed that actually penetrates the globe then that could cause a floater. But that's a really serious problem. And if you have an injury like that, you need to seek attention immediately. So there's definitely some people that are being more prone to get floaters than other people. And those risk factors will include things like aging. Increased age will cause more floaters. People that are high myopes are more likely to see floaters. People that have had inflammation to the eye or trauma to the eye or surgery to the eye are also more likely to see floaters. And as well as if you have diabetes, you're more likely to see floaters. So there are some treatments out there for floaters, but most of them aren't really great options. So generally speaking, you just have to wait and hopefully get used to them. Gravity will often cool down and cause those floaters to settle down in the lower portion of the eye so you don't they're out of your line of sight. But also there's a process called neuroadaptation where you'll get used to these and you won't notice them quite as much. So there are some surgical treatments which can use a laser to kind of break up those floaters into smaller pieces, almost like the game, the old video game asteroids. And there's also another procedure called a vitrectomy where a surgeon removes the entire vitreous and replace it with a saline. But both of these surgical procedures come with some increased risk. So the most important thing that you need to know about floaters is you have a sudden change in your floaters and you increase size or number of them, or if they're accompanied by flashes of lights or you have a curtain or a veil or a loss of your vision, that can be a sign of a potentially vision threatening condition called posterior vitreous detachment. To learn a little bit more about that, you can watch this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.